regard for a musty crypt. Cannot be the dead they're protecting. Hey, wait! He's got to be down here. Where are you hiding, Burgrid? <laughs> Is 
this area is off limits. Maybe God for a musty crypt. Cannot be the dead they're protecting. Wait up! Must be getting close. That's a bread knife, my lord. Do you mean to butter me? Stay back! Back, I say! I'll fight you! If you insist. <laughs> You'll have to kill me! Luckily for this you, it won't This kingdom come. is mine! Mine! Time to go, my lord. We're late for the crowning ceremony.
You, you, you think you've won? You haven't. Liar, Frith. I, I sent him away with orders to destroy you. Quiet. The mess you're in, you don't know the half of it. <laughs> You're a blight on this world! The whole lot of you! A rancid disease! You don't deserve Mercia! To the victor the spoils, my lord. You must win Mercia to deserve her. Mercian soldiers should be relieved of their duty, I think. Hey, boy! This way! Put up a fight! Right behind We need to go. Fast! Jordan, you old you! I hardly <laughs> Whoever... Ah! Put me down! Only way you go down is with a rope around your neck. They'll be coming for him. Stay alert! Mercy and soldiers should be relieved of their duty, I think. Look familiar? No! No, you... You godless slugs! You are...
Change has come, Burgred. All that remains is a coronation. A witan with the Lords of Mercia. Burgred, my love! My lady, are you injured? Did they hurt you? Belong, Lord. Your king awaits. Your death will come, Danes. Your end was writ the moment you came for me. I have made damn sure of that. The Zealots will know your name soon enough. No matter where you are or how far you travel, they will hunt you down. Enough of that, you squeaking sparrow. <laughs> Let my brother be the lunatic of Tamworth. Zealots? What does he mean? Ignore him. Desperate pleas and prophecies, nothing more. Walk with me, Wolfkist. We have some time before the ceremony. Where to? Nowhere in particular. I only want to celebrate. Didn't think you were the type. You have drawn a dark conclusion about me, haven't you? That is all well and good. I've drawn some about you as well. Are you leading a lamb to slaughter? See what I mean? Dark. Too dark. You there! Sit down. I know I have been a cock. But you are a good fighter. I respect that. Let it be said that Ivar the Ivar a friend. Who calls you boneless? Some backcraft I killed in Hibernia. Used his guts to shine my spear. Called me boneless because I move like a reed in the wind. Not because you're always too drunk to plow. Valhalla. That is where I am bound. I can smell the blood and taste the mead. I will sit beside the High One with my axe in hand. A fitting end for Reknason. You would think, eh? Me, Hafton, we will be there. But Uba... No. I do not think we are chasing the same victory. Not anymore. What does Abba want? To grow old and fat on a farm somewhere with little Ubers to chase about. He wants an heir. It's a common dream. Not for a warrior. Not for Drengir like us. He was different before. But this place, England, it softened him. What was he like before? Like me. Ferocious. Wild. With respect, I don't think anyone is like you. If that is a compliment, I missed it. All I mean to say is... Things were easier some time ago. If it bothers you so much, why not strike out on your own? Because he is my brother. I love him. And I will do make him back around to my way of thinking. We are warriors. That Out it, my Did I miss the crowning? Eh? 
Where is my side, Lord? I suggest we carry on. You sought me out, old friend. And here I am, standing before the throne from which I reigned not long ago. You stand before us to accept this Witten's unanimous decision. That you are unfit to rule, and are hereby deposed. We demand the abdication of your kingdom and your crown to Thane Cherwulf. Mercia has spoken, Lord. The crown. Is that you, old friend? Ah, yes, I see it now. <laughs> Forgive me. The robes of righteousness sit so loosely upon your shoulders. If the heavens mismark me as king, forgive its obscuring light. Amen. Now. Where is my crown? Forgive my nerves. Here I am, an upright man who never once learned how to bend the knee. And yet... I shall try! Ah! How simple it is! How easy to kneel without fear! And feeling. He's mocking you, man. I'd kill the fucker. Worry not, Dane. I shall resign this crown, and this pagan infested kingdom, and the favors of these two faced men. But I will do so on my terms. My demands are simple. Firstly, you must. <coughs> <coughs> You fool. Look around you. You have no leverage here. Plead for your life, for it is the only thing these men will grant you. Yes. Yes. F forgive me. I, I... Do not harm me. I beg of you. Please. I'll go anywhere. Here. I, 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 I resign it! Here! Take this lord and his wife to Rome. He is hereby exiled, never to return. The Marcia, second of his name. A just king. A merciful king. God save the king! That'll be worth all this trouble. Mercy and soldiers marching on Repton! Leofrid. Loyal to the ugly and the bastard. Gather what men you have and split them between the north and south gates. That should divide his forces. Cheobert is there. Evo, you must save my son. He'll come through this, I promise. I will stay here with Cheowulf. Go.
Jailbeard, he's in trouble. Walk back down, Leofrith. I will. Please, you do not want to do this. Leofrith, let him walk. You answer to me. I answer to my king. Our silence deeds with this. Lay it by, Leofrith. There's nothing left to fight for. We've stormed Repton. Only a matter of time. I cannot do that. Then you will die. Someone will. You can't win this, Leovrit. Even if you defeat me, the Ragnarsons have won the day. I have fought many dead in my time. I am still standing. You're slowing. Bah! You're a strong thing. Burkrit was lucky. To stand in the way of you and Mercy is my duty. I will die before I yield. You're finished. Not yet. Fight me, heathen. 
Autos im Bier. Go on then. End it. No appeal to your guard? Or your king? I swore an oath to Sir Borgren to the death. And we both know how this goes. An honorable thane fighting a dishonorable war. Burgred abandoned him, betrayed his trust. If I were Leofrith, I'd want to know. Why rob him of this last glory? A warrior ready to meet his god and bask in his praise. To live will only lead him to shame. It's not an oath he would keep if he knew the truth. Then choose. Truth or glory. Stand, Leofrith. Live to fight another day. What? Your loyalty to Burgred is not a loyalty returned. He resigned the crown and fled to Rome. He's gone. You lie. Lie to a man seconds from death. What would I gain? He saved himself and left you to die. All this fighting, it's for nothing. For no one. To betray one so trusted, so close. It's a dishonor worth a thousand deaths. Eivor, you have shown me a great kindness. It is only fitting that I do the same. At Venonis, there is a statue with a scroll laid in a small bowl. You must burn it. A scroll? Your name. At Burgred's request, I put it there. When it is found, the zealots who read it will hunt you. Who are they? It doesn't matter now. You haven't much time. Burn the scroll, or they will never stop hunting you. Where will you go now? Rome. Come on. Let's take you back. Careful. You're injured. I'm all right, really. A few nicks and cuts from the battle, that's all. These wounds will heal quickly. You're lucky. I threw myself at him, Abel. But he only destroyed me. He knew I couldn't touch him. You should have stayed hidden, Chilbert. This wasn't your fight. It was. It was our fight. Yours, mine, my father's. I had to help. And you did. You showed courage today. Bravery. You're a boy no longer. Back there with Leofrith. I didn't think you'd spare him. There is no honor in killing a man misled. He believed his king would die fighting for Mercia. He knows the truth now. And with that truth...
Albert! Look at you! Bloody and battle-worn. Could be chieftain of your own clan with courage like that. No less than the King of Mercia, brother. One of these days. And how is my father taking to his new role? See for yourself. You're an Otlinger now. Or Aetling, I think you'd say. Next in line for the throne. It's an honorable title. One that demands good... Are you well? Yes, father. Well enough. We honored you today. Fought bravely against many stalwart foes. You have my thanks. All of you. And my blessing. We knew what this alliance might cost us. But it's over now. And everyone has gained something. Silver. Honor. Allies. Agreed. Today we turn a new page. All of England must know. The Kingdom of Mercia has a new king. The remaining kingdoms of England won't respect your path to power. Nor will many in my kingdom. Burgred's soldiers will stand tall in the face of this turmoil, all across Mercia, against us. That we shall remedy soon enough. I am riding for Oxenifordshire directly, to forge an alliance with some thanes there. Shall I go with you? Not till I know more. Linger here a while if you can. Strengthen our friendships. I will send for you soon enough. Sigurd, I would feel better if Chaelbert was away from here until Mercia is more stable. Would you welcome him among your clan? Hmm. Do you have a horse, young Aveling? I do. A young steed called Theobald. Good. I can ride with you as far as the river Nene. You may find your way from there. Thank you, Sigurd. This puts my mind at ease. Be ready for my call, Eivor. It will come. You and Sigurd make a good pair. The future of England will be pagan from top to bottom. Take this, Wolf Kist. It's a sign of friendship. And should you call, the brothers Ragnarsson will come. You honor me, Abba. See that? Sly bastard trying to win your heart. Well, two can play at that game. How kind of you, Ivar. My pleasure. Our friendship is the best thing to come from this mess. Maybe Chelbert too, the brave little twig. That's good to hear. Now then, Leovrid said there are hunters after me. Zealots. If I don't clear my name, 